What's up guys, it's Trax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a different type of video. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys the top 10 best clothing glitches that are still working after patch 1.52. So we're going to start with this outfit right here. This one still works and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this with the invisible arms. So first you guys are going to need to go to a clothing store. And whenever you guys get to a clothing store, you guys are just going to want to head to your tops. Whenever you guys get to your tops, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to vest, which should be on slot 46. And you guys are just going to want to use whichever vest you guys want. It doesn't really matter. Whichever one that will match your outfit, like your pants or your other accessories. But after you guys have the vest that you guys want that will go with your outfit, you guys can back out and go over here to the front counter. Whenever you guys get to the front counter, you guys are going to be looking for scuba. So scuba is on slot 48. So go ahead and click on scuba and you guys can just buy any one that you guys want. It doesn't really matter. But since you guys are probably just going to want to use the one that you guys already have, don't worry. None of these are just going to be, none of these parts from the scuba outfit will be combining with the other outfit. So it doesn't really matter. So you guys can buy the cheapest one that you guys want. But after you guys have that, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. So after you guys go ahead and save that outfit, after you guys go ahead and save the scuba outfit on whatever slot, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and you guys are going to be looking for bodysuits. So bodysuits should be right here on slot 43. So go ahead and click on bodysuits. And you guys are going to want to equip any of these three. So the luminous the neon or the electric you guys can choose whichever one but i already own this one so i'm going to use this one so now after you guys have this outfit equipped now you guys can back out and you guys are just going to want to go to your apartment with the telescope or you guys can go to the other side of, or you guys can go to the pier where a telescope is there too but i'll just get back to you whenever i do get to a telescope okay guys so whenever you guys get to a telescope either at the pier or your apartment you guys are just going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch so just run hit right on the d-pad your character should glitch where his mask does come off so pull up your interaction menu scroll down the style and scroll to the slot where you guys save the scuba outfit so after you guys go ahead and click on that you guys are just going to want to just walk away and so you guys should have the scuba outfit on and whenever you guys walk away you guys should have the body the body uh head on so now you guys can go ahead and and just run down to either the clothing store or you guys can run down to your basement if you guys are in your apartment and go ahead and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip the vest that you guys wanted from earlier so just go to your tops and you guys are just going to want to go to vest and just click on the outfit or click on the vest that you guys wanted so now after you guys go ahead and after you guys have the vest that you guys wanted now you guys are just going to want to go to any body body of water so any any body of water that you guys can swim in so you guys can either go to this you guys can go to any of the golf courses, the golf course ponds, or you guys can go to the pier and jump off the pier. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to the pier. Okay guys, so whenever you guys go ahead and get to the pier or wherever the body of water you guys went to, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and your character should dive off. And whenever he does dive in, as you guys can see, he does have invisible arms and he does have the scuba suit on. So now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and take the easy way out. So whenever you guys go ahead and take the easy way out, you guys can see your character is glitching out a little bit. But whenever he spawns back in, you guys should see that he does have this glitched outfit on. See, it should be your crew color. That's what the undershirt is of the black vest. It'll be your crew color. So after you guys have that, this is what it should look like. Now you guys can go to the clothing store and go ahead and change your components. Like you guys can go ahead and equip any gloves, any, any mask, any helmet, any pants, any shoes. So after you guys do that, you guys can just go ahead and save the outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. And now we're going to be working on the next glitch. So this is going to be the second glitch. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can also get invisible arms with this outfit. So you guys are just going to want to go over here, go to the front counter at any clothing store, it doesn't matter. And you guys are just going to want to scroll onto the Diamond Casino Ice, which should be on slot 52. So go ahead and click on that. And you guys are going to scroll down until you guys find Refuse Collectors, which should be on slot 17. So go ahead and click on Refuse Collectors. And you guys are just going to want to put on, or you guys are just going to want to equip the pickup. So this one right here on top. So after you guys equip that, you guys can just back out, walk over here to the tops. And you guys are going to be looking for overcoat blazers. So over, uh, overcoat blazers should be on slot 17. So go ahead and click on overcoat blazers. And you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip no top. And as you guys can see, it gives you invisible arms. So after you guys do that, now you guys can go ahead and equip any pants you guys want. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go to leather pants and I'm just going to equip probably the black plane. So I'm just going to equip that. 
And so after you guys equip that, as you guys can see, you guys can just equip any p components that you guys want. It doesn't really matter. Only components you guys can't equip are gloves for some reason. It just doesn't work. So you guys can equip these cuffs. So if you guys just go over here to your accessories, scroll down to cuffs. And on slot 6, you guys can just put on the spiked gauntlet if you guys want. And if you guys scroll down to slot 17, you guys can put it on your right arm too. So after you guys do that, you guys can just put on whatever ski mask or whatever mask and helmet you guys want. So after you guys have that, now we're going to be working on the third glitch. So for the third glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the FIB badge on any outfit. So first, you guys are just going to need and own an arcade. And after you guys own an arcade, you guys are just going to want to come down to the basement. And then you guys are just going to want to go over here. First, you guys will need to join a CEO or an MC. It doesn't matter. But after you guys join one of those, you guys are just going to want to go up to the setup board. You guys are just going to want to go ahead and complete the, these stuff. And then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and for your select approach, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and select the big con. So this middle job right here with the bug stars van, after you guys select that, you guys can go over here to your prep board. Whenever you guys get to your prep board, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and select your support crew. Then you guys are going to be able to do this hacking device. So the hacking device should show a picture of Lester. And whenever you guys are hovering over that, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and launch this mission. So whenever you guys launch the mission, you guys should spawn in with the suit. If you guys don't have a suit on whenever you guys are outside, then you guys are going to want to go ahead and restart your game and then you guys are just going to want to restart until you guys have a suit on your character so then that's how you guys know it's the fib badge mission okay guys so i spawned outside and as you guys can see i spawned in with the suit so that's how you guys know it's the fib badge mission and if, it, if you guys spawn in with your original outfit then this is not the fib badge mission so, but yeah so after you guys have that now whenever you guys have the suit on you guys are just going to want to go to any gun store doesn't matter but I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a gun store. Whenever you guys get to a gun store and you guys are inside, you guys are just going to want to go over here to your outfits. And whenever you guys get to your outfits, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and select your saved outfits. Right and you guys can choose any outfit you guys want the F badge on. So I'm going to change it instead of this outfit since it already has the FIB badge. I'm just going to choose this outfit. So after you guys have this outfit, now you guys are just going to want to go to the location Luster tells you to go. Whenever you guys are here and you, you guys kill the agents, you guys are just going to search the guy that you guys see the green circle on the map. You guys are going to want to search that agent he, and he does have the FIB badge. So go ahead and collect that. And after you guys see that you guys have the FIB badge on your character, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go back to the gun store. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are at a gun store, you guys can go over here to the outfits. And whenever you guys get to the outfits, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and save the outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. And so, as you guys can see, now I have the saved the outfit I wanted the FIB badge on, and I just saved the outfit. So, if you guys want to keep going and getting the FIB badge on different outfits without fin finishing this mission, so then you guys won't have to like do the heist and then redo it. So then you guys will have to like look for the look for the FIB badge again. You guys can just go ahead and take the easy way out. And whenever you guys go ahead and take the easy way out, it'll save the game. But you guys are going to be putting on the black suit. So whenever you guys spawn back in, it's going to put on the black suit. And then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and find a new session. Okay guys, so whenever you guys go ahead and find a new session, as you guys can see, I'm not in the job anymore. And the FIB badge is on my outfit. So you guys go ahead and switch outfits. And whenever you guys switch back, as you guys can see, you still have the FIB badge on your character. So you guys can go ahead and go back to your arcade and do the FIB badge mission again. And so that's basically it. Now we're going to be moving on to the fourth glitch. So for the fourth glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get this jet black duffel bag from the diamond casino eyes. So you guys are going to need to own an arcade. And after you guys have that, you guys are just going to want to go over here to the setup board. And whenever you guys get here, you guys are just going to be scrolling down to the big con. So this, this is going to be your select approach. So select the big con, which the bug with the bug stars van. So after you guys have that, after you guys selected that, you guys are just going to want to go over here to your prep board. And after you guys select your support crew, you guys are just going to want to head over here to your approach Pacific preps and see where it says bug stars. Go ahead and click on that. And you guys are just going to want to scroll to the group A sex gear. So you guys are going to have two parts to this. The first one, you guys are going to need to get a big, big truck for this. And so the second part is where you guys will begin the duffel bags. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do start getting to the duffel bags. 
after you guys did the first part, after you guys delivered the truck, you guys are just going to want to go back to the prep board, go over here to the group A sex gear, and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and select that job again. So you guys are just going to want to go ahead and launch the mission. And so now this is where you guys will begin the duffel bag. So, so you guys are just going to want to get the first duffel bag. And whenever you guys get the first duffel bag, you guys are just going to want to return it to the arcade. So the second duffel bag is the most important one that, that you guys want to get. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the second duffel bag. Okay, guys, so whenever you guys have got the second duffel bag, you guys are just going to want to have a thing that does give you a parachute, so like an oppressor or a helicopter. So after you guys have a vehicle that gives you a parachute and you guys are high in the sky, whenever you guys have the black duffel bag on with the outfit you guys want, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and jump off above your arcade. So whenever you guys are above your arcade, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and pull your parachute and start gliding towards the garage. So you guys are just going to want to make sure you do hit the yellow circle or at least the garage and then your character will get in the, get in the animation where he'll be going inside the garage. So after you guys are in that, so you guys should have the second duffel bag. Now for the second part of the glitch, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to the gun store. Whenever you guys get to the gun store, you guys are just going to want to go over here to the front counter inside the gun store and just go over and scroll up to the parachute. So whenever you guys get to the parachute, go ahead and click on parachute. Scroll down to parachute bags, and you guys are going to be looking for the Israel shoot bag. So it'll be the blue and white one with some type of star on it. Oh yeah, so this star right here. So I, it's this parachute, the Israel shoot bag, which is on slot 25. So you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip that. And after you guys equip that, you guys can go ahead and back out, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute, and go ahead and equip it on your character. So after you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to get a vehicle that gives you a parachute, so either an oppressor or a helicopter, and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and fly to the beach. So whenever you guys are above the beach with a helicopter or your oppressor and you guys are high in the sky, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and jump off your oppressor or jump out of your helicopter. And you guys are, whenever you guys pull your parachute and you guys land, you guys should be able to have the black duffel bag. So as you guys can see, I should have the black duffel bag. Now, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and get on your oppressor or helicopter again and fly high in the sky. So then you guys can go ahead and do the mask glitch. Okay guys, so whenever you guys have the duffel bag on and you guys are high enough in the sky with your oppressor or helicopter, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and jump off. And whenever you guys go ahead and jump off, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and pull your parachute and start gliding towards the mask door. So whenever you guys start gliding, slow down your character like I am. And you guys are just going to want to slide and make your character hit the tarp so he'll fall. And then you guys are going to want, whenever he falls, start spamming right on the D-pad. So start spamming right on the D-pad. And as you guys can see, he should be glitched into the menu like this. Now you guys can go ahead and hit your edit saved outfits and save, save it on any slot that you guys want to save the outfit on with a duffel bag. So now after you guys go ahead and do that, you guys can just pull, you guys can get out of that. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style. And just click on the outfit you guys saved the duffel bag on. Nope, wrong one. Again. <laughs> and then so, just like this one. So it should be like this with the jet black duffel bag and the outfit you guys saved it with. So it's as easy as that. You guys can, just like I said, you guys can save it. You guys could have saved it with any outfit. But yeah, so after you guys did that, now we're going to be working on the fifth glitch. So for the fifth glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get a ripped shirt. So just like this, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the ripped shirt. It's really simple. You guys don't have to do it exactly like me. You guys can choose any vest shirt or any shirt that you guys want. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. But whenever you guys do get to a clothing store, just head to your tops. And whenever you guys get to your tops, you guys are going to be looking for either t-shirts or designer t-shirts, whichever one that you guys want with the vest shirt. So I'm going to be saying designer t-shirts because I like their shirts better. So you guys can choose any shirt that you guys want, whichever one that'll match your outfit or your pants or your shoes and whatever. So after you guys have that, um, after you guys have the shirt that you guys wanted, you guys can just go back out and you guys are going to be looking for utility vest. So utility vest is on slot 52. So go ahead and click on utility vest and you guys are going to be looking for a peach plate carrier. So peach plate carrier is on slot 43. So go ahead and buy or equip the peach plate carrier and so after you guys equip that now you guys are just going to want to put on any accessories like your pants gloves and shoes so after you guys have those accessories don't worry about your mask and helmet you guys don't need those yet but so just equip the accessories that you guys get at the clothing store and now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go and save this outfit in slot one 
So if you guys have an outfit in slot one, you guys can go ahead and equip that outfit and move it on a different slot. But after you guys have this outfit on slot one, now you guys are just going to want to back out and scroll through the clothing until you guys find heist coveralls. So heist coveralls is on slot 13, so go ahead and click on heist coveralls. And from slot 9 through slot 12, you guys can equip any of these with the toxic mask, it doesn't matter. But after you guys have that equipped, now you guys are just going to want to go to the telescope by the pier. You guys don't want to do the one inside your apartment because this will mess up the glitch. But I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the pier. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are at the telescope, or at the pier, and then there's... What? Okay guys, so whenever you guys are at a telescope on the pier, or near the pier, you guys can go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the d-pad where your character should glitch where his mask does come off. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and go ahead and equip the outfit that you guys saved on slot 1. So it should look like this, or whichever shirt you guys equipped with the utility vest. Now you guys can go ahead and back out and just walk away. And as you guys can see, it should be the outfit with the toxic mask. So now after you guys do that, you guys can either go to a clothing store or the mask store and go ahead and save this outfit on slot one. So like I said, you guys can either go to the clothing store or mask store and now you guys can go ahead and save this outfit in slot one. So now after you guys are here, you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. So just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, scroll up to or scroll down the missions and start up a titan of a job whenever you guys are in titan of a job you guys are just going to want to go ahead and confirm your settings and just hit play it's going to ask if you guys want to launch the job on your own just hit yes okay guys so whenever you guys spawn in the utility vest should be gone and it should just be your outfit you guys created with the toxic mask so now you guys can just go ahead and go to any gun store that you guys want that you guys see on the map it doesn't matter and so i'll just get back to you whenever i do get to a gun store guys so whenever you guys get to a gun store you guys are just going to want to go over here to your clothing hit your edit saved outfits and go ahead and save this outfit on slot one so after you guys save this outfit on slot one now you guys can just back out and you guys can pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone so whenever you guys spawn back in you guys are just going to want to go ahead and run back into the ammunition store and whenever you guys get to the ammunition store just go over here to the outfits and you guys are going to be scrolling down to standard, which is on slot two. And you guys are going to be equi equipping the effortless, which is on slot three. So after you guys go and equip that, you guys can back out, walk over here to the tops. Whenever you guys get here, scroll up to vest, which should be on slot 46. So, and then you guys can equip any one. It doesn't really matter because this is not where it matters. But I'm just going to equip the black one. And after you guys do this, this is where it will matter. So... Scroll down to vest shirt, which is on slot 47, and you guys are just going to want to use whichever one that will match your outfit. So I'm going to be using the pink one because that will match my outfit. And so after you guys have that, you guys are just going to want to take off your glasses that your character has on. So you guys can scroll one time to the left, and it will take off your character's glasses. So after you guys have the vest shirt that you guys wanted that will match your outfit, now you guys can go ahead and start up a crooked cop. So just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play jobs. Rockstar created, scroll down to Versus, and now you guys can start up a Crooked Cop. You guys, so whenever you guys get into a Crooked Cop, make sure your clothing is set to player owned, even if you're not the host, or if you are the host, then make sure it is set to player owned, and if the host does not set to player owned, just leave and find a new Crooked Cop until you guys are the host, or the, the host does have it set to player owned. So now we're, I'm just going to wait until the, he launches the mission. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are here, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to your owned outfits and scroll one time to the right. And so as you guys can see, whenever you guys scroll one time to the right, this is exactly what it'll look like. The t-shirt that you guys wanted and the vest shirt that you guys chose. And so after you guys do that, now you guys can go ahead and just ready up. Okay guys, so whenever you guys load in, now you guys are just going to want to pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on gear, scroll one time to the left, and you guys can put on the LCD earpiece, or if you guys have a rebreather or whatever, night vision, you guys can equip that, and then it'll just save your outfit or the game. So now, after you guys do that, now you guys can just pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Okay guys, so whenever you guys get back to the clothing store, you guys can equip any components that you guys want that will match your outfit, and then you guys can go ahead and save your outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. So after you guys do that, that's, ba that's basically it. Now we're going to be working on the 6th glitch. So for the 6th glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get alien legs and have an invisible ass. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can do that right now. So you guys are just going to want to go ahead, head over here to your outfits, and whenever you guys get here, 
scroll down to Arena War, which is on slot 51. So go ahead and click on Arena War. Scroll down to Space Cyberclop Suits. And now you guys are just going to want to click on that. And you guys can choose any one that will match your top or whichever one that will match your crew top. Because then that, that's what crew top you'll be putting on. Or any like black shirt or white shirt, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can do that. So just equip any one that will match your crew color or the black top, it doesn't matter. And so after you guys have the Cyclops suit that you guys want, you guys are just going to want to pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and just hit change appearance. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are here, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to apparel. So click on apparel, and if you guys scroll one time to the right, it'll be your solid crew color, or a solid black, a solid white, a solid gray, a crew sleeves black, a crew sleeves white, a crew sleeves gray, a crew color black, a crew collar white, a crew collar gray, or you guys can go to the new no crew t-shirt, or you guys can go to your crew t-shirt. Doesn't matter, but I'm picking my crew t-shirt because it matches the alien legs I chose, or the alien suit I chose. So after you guys have that, you guys can just hit return to menu, and then you guys can, can save to continue. But this will cost you $100,000, so just letting you guys know, just before you guys save and continue. But yeah, so now you guys can just go ahead and hit save and continue and then you guys can load back into online. So whenever you guys save that outfit and you guys load in with the alien legs and your crew t-shirt and if you guys want the if you guys want a like any helmet on or any mask I'll be showing you guys how you guys can do that right now so you guys can either go to the telescope at your apartment or you guys can go to the one near the pier but I'll go back to you whenever I do get to a telescope. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are here at the telescope, you guys are just going to want to, after you guys save this outfit with the alien legs and your crew t-shirt, make sure you do save this outfit first because you guys are just going to want to switch to another outfit so then you guys are able to put on a helmet or a ski mask or any mask. So after you guys save this outfit, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip any outfit that you guys have, like any helmet that you guys want on this outfit or any mask. So just say I wanted this black bulletproof helmet and I didn't want the mask, I'll just Go ahead, take off the ski mask, and I'll just go ahead and put on the black bulletproof helmet that I wanted. I'm going to take off these glasses real quick. And so, after you guys go ahead and do that, after you guys have that, and you guys only have the bulletproof helmet, unless you guys wanted the mask with it, make sure you make sure you guys do have that. So, I only have my helmet on, so now I'm going to do the telescope glitch. So, I'm going to go run. Hit right on the D-pad, my character glitches. And so, I'm going to pull up my interaction menu, scroll down to style. And I'm going to scroll to the alien outfit that I did save. So I'm going to equip the alien outfit. And then I'm going to go ahead and walk away. And whenever I walk away, as you guys can see, I do have the bulletproof helmet with the alien legs. Now you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. And now we're going to be working on the seventh glitch. Okay, guys. So for the seventh glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the group A sex belt. So this is going to be really simple. So it's going to be like the ripped t-shirt glitch. So you guys are just going to want to... Pull up your interaction, go to style, scroll to accessories, and go take off any accessories your character has. So like any hat or mask. So after you guys, after you have that off, now you guys are just going to want to choose any top where you guys are able to put on the peach plate carrier. So I took off my parachute. Now you guys are just going to want to scroll down to any t-shirt or you guys can put on a sweater. Just any, any top that you, where you guys are able to put on the peach plate carrier. So after you guys have your top, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to utility vest, which is on slot 52. And scroll down to slot 43, which is the peach plate carrier. Plate carrier is on slot 43, so go ahead and equip that. And after you guys go ahead and equip that, just like I said, make sure you do take off any accessories from your like hel helmet and mask. You guys are able to put on any shoes, any pants, any gloves that you guys want. So after you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and save this outfit in slot 1. So if you guys do have an outfit in slot 1, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip that outfit and put it on a different slot and make sure you do save this outfit on slot 1. So after you guys do that, now you guys can just back out, scroll down to heist coveralls, and on heist coveralls, which should be on slot 13, go ahead and click on heist coveralls, and from slot 9 through slot 12, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip any of these, any of these coveralls with the toxic mask. So after you guys equip one of those, now you guys are just going to want to go to a telescope by the pier. So I'll go back to you whenever I do get to a telescope. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are here at, near a telescope with the highest coveralls, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the d-pad where your character should glitch where his mask does come off. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and on outfit, equip the outfit you guys saved on slot 1 with the utility vest. 
So I equipped that. Now I'm going to go ahead and walk away. And as you guys can see, the outfit and the, the toxic mask did combine. So now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to any clothing store or mask store and go ahead and save this outfit in slot one. So whenever you guys get to a clothing store or mask store, like I said, go ahead and save this outfit in slot one. And after you guys go ahead and save this outfit in slot one, now you guys can just back out. Now you guys are just going to want to start up a Titan of a job. So just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, scroll down to missions and start up a Titan of a job. Guys, okay, so whenever you guys are in a Titan of a job, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and confirm your settings. After you guys confirm your settings, just hit play. It's going to ask if you guys want to launch the job on your own. Just hit yes. Okay guys, so whenever you guys spawn into the Titan of a job, you guys should spawn in with that the utility vest and it should be the outfit you guys made with the toxic mask. So after you guys do that, now you guys can just go to any gun store. So it doesn't matter which gun store you guys go to, but I'll, I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a gun store. Okay guys, so whenever you guys go ahead and get to a gun store, just walk over here to your clothing and go ahead and save this outfit in slot 1. So now after you guys go ahead and save this outfit in slot one, you guys can just pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. You guys, so whenever you guys spawn in, you guys are just going to want to run back into the ammunition store. And whenever you guys get to the ammunition store, you guys should already have this outfit saved. So go ahead and go to browse outfits. And now you guys are just going to want to scroll down to diamond casino heist, which is on slot 52. So go ahead and click on that. Scroll down to the group A sex gear, which is on slot 20. And you guys are gonna, you guys can equip any of these with the group A belt. As you guys can see, these have the group A belt, so you guys can equip any one. But I'm gonna be choosing this. And after you guys choose one with the belt, now you guys are just gonna want to go ahead and start up a crooked cop. Okay, guys. So whenever you guys get into a crooked cop, make sure your clothing is set to player owned. And whenever it is set to player owned, then you guys can launch the mission. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are in here, scroll down to your owned outfits and scroll one time to the right. And it should, as you guys can see, the group of sex belt did transfer over to this outfit. Now you guys can just hit ready to play. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are in here, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on gear, scroll one time to the left, and you guys should put on an LCD earpiece. And after you guys do that, you guys can just pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Okay guys, so whenever you guys spawn back in, you guys should have the group of belt with your outfit. And so you guys are not able to change your pants or your top without losing the belt. So that's why that's why you guys needed to put on the top and pants before you guys actually did the glitch. So then you guys were able to get the outfit you guys wanted with the belt. But yeah, so after you guys have that, now you guys can go ahead and save the outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. And now we're going to be working on the eighth glitch. So for the 8th glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get this duffel bag right here. Or you guys can get 4 other different colored duffel bags just like this one. It'll be opened just like this white and black one. So this is going to be really simple. But first, you will need an outfit where you guys are able to put a vest or a black bulletproof vest over your outfit. So just like this one, if you guys can see, I just, I'm just i going to pull my interaction menu, go to inventory, scroll down to body armor. And if I scroll to show armor... As you guys can see, I'm able to put the show or I'm able to put armor on my outfit. So you guys will need to look for a top that will, where you guys are able to put on your armor. So after you guys are able to do that, make sure you guys are wearing the or make sure you're wearing the armor with the outfit. And now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and switch to your female character. Don't worry, you guys won't be losing your outfits. This is just a simple glitch. So you guys are just going to want to go ahead and swap character. Okay guys, so whenever you guys get here, just switch to your female character, and if, if your second slot character is a male, just switch it to a female, and then you guys can just continue to go online. Right, so whenever you guys load in with your female character, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to the casino. So I'll, I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the casino. Okay guys, so whenever you guys get inside the casino, you guys are just going to want to head over here to the clothing shop. So whenever you guys get here to the clothing shop, you guys are just going to want to scroll down and look for sweaters. So sweaters, sweaters should be right here on slot 10. So go ahead and click on sweaters and you guys are gonna be buying the purple color jersey, which is on slot one. So after you guys do that, now you guys are just gonna to wanna to go to any clothing store on the map. So I'll, I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a clothing store. Whenever you guys get to the clothing store, you guys are just going to want to head to your accessories. So whenever you guys get to your accessories, you guys are just gonna to wanna to scroll down to gloves. 
So gloves should be on slot 10. So go ahead and click on gloves. And you guys are going to be scrolling to slot 50, which should be the driving gloves or the motocross gloves. So motocross gloves should be these gloves right here, the, the motocross, which is on slot 50. So go ahead and equip those. And now after you guys equip those, you guys are just going to want to pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to inventory, scroll down to body armor. And you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip the standard armor, which should be this one right here. So after you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to this gun store. It doesn't have to be this gun store, but any gun store. And so I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to a gun store. So whenever you guys get to the gun store, you guys are just going to want to go over here to the front counter. And whenever you guys get to the front counter, you guys are just going to want to head over here to the parachute. Go ahead and equip or buy the parachute. And now you guys are going to scroll down to parachute bags. And as you guys can see, you guys are able to choose from whatever duffel bag you guys want. So after you guys do that, just click on the classic shoot bag and it should be the black and green. And now you guys are able to choose any of these five duffel bags. So you guys can choose whichever one that you guys want that will match your outfit. I'm going to choose the black and white one because that's going to match my outfit. So after you guys equip that, now you guys can just walk away and pull up your interaction menu. Scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute and go ahead and set parachute to on. So as you guys can see, it has the duffel bag that you guys want. Now, after you guys have the duffel bag that you guys want, you guys can go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, and scroll down to swap character. Okay, guys, so whenever you guys are here, you guys are just going to want to scroll back to your male character and go ahead and select your male character. And then I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into on an online session. Okay, guys, so whenever you guys spawn in, you guys should have the outfit you guys created and make sure you guys do have on the body armor. And so if you guys don't have the body armor, you guys will need to redo it but like i said you guys needed to put on the body armor before you guys switch to your female and so whenever you guys come back to online your, your character your male character should still have on the vest with the outfit you guys created you guys aren't supposed to have the duffel bag on yet but i forgot to take it off so after after you guys have your outfit with the with the vest now you guys are just going to want to go ahead get on something that gives you a parachute like an oppressor mark ii an oppressor or you guys can just get in a helicopter but after, after you guys have that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and fly high in the sky and make sure you guys are high enough so then whenever you guys jump off, you guys are able to pull your parachute. And so whenever you guys are able to pull your parachute, you guys should get the duffel bag. And if you guys don't have the duffel bag, whenever you guys pull your parachute, you guys are just going to want to wait until you guys land. And whenever you guys land, you guys should have the parachute. And so just like this, whenever you guys land, as you guys can see, I do have the parachute and it's still here. So now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and call in a helicopter or you guys can keep your oppressor. It doesn't matter. But I'm just used to doing it with the helicopter because I just know it takes off my duffel bag. I'm not sure if it has to take off your duffel bag or not, but I just use this just in case. So you guys can go ahead and call in your helicopter or go ahead and get a helicopter. And whenever you guys get your helicopter, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and get in your helicopter. Okay, so whenever you guys got your helicopter, like I said, just go ahead and hop in your helicopter. And whenever you guys get in your helicopter, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to inventory, scroll down to body armor, and see where it says show armor. Make sure you set that to none. So after you guys set that to none, you guys can go ahead and take off. And whenever you guys go ahead and take off, make sure you guys are high enough because we're going to be doing the mass glitch or the glitch to just say so then you guys are able to save your outfit with the duffel bag. So after you guys do that, make sure you're high enough with the helicopter. And then whenever you guys know that you guys are high enough in the helicopter, you, you guys can go ahead and jump out. And so after you guys jump out, now you guys are just going to want to start gliding towards the mass door. Yeah, okay so whenever you guys are close enough, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and make your character slow down and make sure he does fall. And so whenever he falls, you guys are just going to want to start spamming right on the D-pad. After you guys start spamming right on the D-pad... You, got, you guys should just have your parachute on right now. So go ahead and edit your saved outfits and go ahead and save the go ahead and save the outfit that you guys want the duffel bag on or the slot. So after you guys go ahead and save it, now you guys can go ahead and back out. Your parachute will fall off. Now you guys can pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and go ahead and click on the outfit you guys saved the duffel bag on. And as you guys can see, the duffel bag did save with this outfit, and I don't even have the vest on. So... This is exactly what my outfit looks like with the duffel bag, and you guys can go ahead and keep doing this if you guys want with the other four duffel bags. But it's as simple as that, and you, like I forgot to say, you guys can use an oppressor. It doesn't have to be with the helicopter, so you guys just have to do it the exact same way like I did with the utility vest. But yeah, so now we're just going to be working on the ninth glitch. 
For the ninth glitch, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can get tan joggers. So this is a real simple glitch, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it right now. So you guys are just gonna wanna join the CEO, and after you guys join the CEO, pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO, scroll down to Management, scroll down to Style, and on your CEO style, you guys are gonna be looking for Warlord. So Warlord should be the one with the tan joggers, this outfit right here. So after you guys do that, you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and exit the clothing store. So after you guys exit outside, the outfit you guys saw earlier was with the sweater and that big monkey hat, or big monkey mask. So that's the outfit I should spawn back in with, and whichever outfit you guys had on before you guys put on the Warlord will be the outfit you guys will want to have on whenever you guys spawn back in. So you guys will know what I'm talking about. So you guys are just going to want to keep finding a new session until you guys have on the outfit you guys did have before you guys put on the Warlord outfit, just like I did with the monkey mask. So... I'll show you guys what I'm talking about whenever I do find a new session and load in with that outfit. So as you guys can see, I spawned back in with the outfit I had on before the Warlord and before I actually put on the Warlord outfit. So this is exactly what you should have on or the outfit you guys had on before the Warlord. So you guys are just going to want to run back into the clothing store and go to the front counter and hit right on the D-pad. And you guys are just going to want to sit here until it kicks you out of the game or kicks you out of the front counter. So just like that, it'll put it'll put the warlord back, the warlord outfit back on. And so after it puts it back on, you guys can go ahead and leave your CEO. And as you guys can see, I still have the warlord outfit. So now, as you guys can see, you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want, or you guys can create your outfit right now if you guys want. If you guys want to just create this outfit, you guys can go ahead and look at it. And so you guys can go ahead and just, if you guys want to use this outfit or whatever, if you guys want to. But if you guys want to go ahead and do the, the helmet glitch, or the mask glitch I mean, with the monkey mask, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and obviously save the outfit with the tan joggers first because you guys are going to want to equip another outfit. So go ahead and save the tan joggers, and after you guys do that, go to your arena war, and then you guys are going to scroll down to, I believe it's character suits, and you guys are going to be equipping or putting on the pogo sk space monkey. So after you guys do that, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch and whenever you guys are at the telescope glitch go ahead and equip the tan joggers outfit and whenever you guys do that you guys should walk away from the telescope and it should look like this so after you guys do that now you guys can go ahead and save the outfit and now we're going to be working on the 10th glitch so i'm going to be showing you guys for the final glitch i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the juggernaut outfit so you guys are just going to want to equip an outfit with like a pair of pants that you guys want or if you guys just want to use any jeans from over there at the pants section you guys can or you guys can use any pair of joggers it doesn't matter but i'm going to be using the gray joggers so you guys are just going to want to go ahead and take off any accessories your character has like any like any helmet or any mask and just any tie your character has uh, so after you guys took off all the accessories like your character's tie, his helmet, and mask, you guys can keep your gloves and keep your shoes. But after you guys do that, you guys are just going to want to head over here to your tops. And whenever you guys get to your tops, you guys are going to be looking for vest shirts, which should be on slot 47. So go ahead and click on vest shirts. And you guys are going to want to go ahead and put on the white band vest shirt, which is on slot 9. So after you guys go ahead and do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll up to vest, which is on slot 46. So go ahead and click on vest, and you guys are going to be looking for the black vest, which should be on slot 38. So go ahead and click on black vest, and after you guys have that stuff equipped, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and save this outfit in slot 20. So after you guys have this outfit saved in slot 20, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and look for heist coveralls. So heist coveralls is on slot 13, so go ahead and click on heist coveralls, and from slot 9 through slot 12, you guys are just going to want to equip any of these hazard or scientific or scientist stuff with the toxic mask so you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip one of those and after you guys do that you guys are just going to want to go to a telescope by the pier so i'll just get back to you whenever i do get to a telescope guys yeah, so whenever you guys get to a telescope you guys are just going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch whenever you guys have your ice coveralls on so just run hit right on the d-pad your character should glitch where his mask does come off so pull up your interaction menu scroll down the style and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip the outfit you guys saved on slot 20. So I think I, I should have, I don't know if I did say that, but you guys should have saved this outfit on slot 20. So after you guys did that, you, after you guys did the telescope glitch, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and walk away. And as you guys can see, your outfit and the mask should combine. 
So now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to any gun store on the map. It doesn't matter, but I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a gun store. So whenever you guys get to the gun store, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and save this outfit in slot 20. So after you guys go ahead and save this outfit in slot 20, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. So just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, scroll down to missions, and then scroll to Titan of a job. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are in Titan of a job, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and confirm your settings. And after you guys confirm your settings, you guys are just going to want to hit play. So it's going to ask if you guys want to launch the job on your own, just hit yes. You guys should spawn in with your outfit. So after you guys do that, or you guys should spawn in with a black vest and no arms. So after you guys do that, you guys are just going to want to walk back over here to your outfits and go ahead and save this outfit in slot 20. So after you guys save this outfit in slot 20, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Okay guys, so whenever you guys spawn back in with your invisible arms, you guys are just going to want to go back in, run inside the gun store. If your arms do come back, you guys will be fine. But just go over here to your outfits, and whenever you guys are here, go to your auto, your outfit saved. Scroll down to slot 20, and if you guys are not able to equip your slot 20 outfit, then you know this glitched work. So after you guys do that, you guys can equip any other outfit you guys want, it doesn't matter. But after you guys go ahead and do that, now you guys are just going to want to just equip any outfit, just like I said. And now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to the beach. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the beach. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are here at the beach and you guys are near the mask store, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and call in the ballistic equipment. So if you guys don't own that, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get it. So just pull up your phone, go to the internet, scroll down to War Warstock Catch and Carry. And you guys are just going to want to scroll down until you guys find the the ballistic armor. So the ballistic equipment should be right here. It should cost 500k. So you guys should own it, or most of you guys probably do. Maybe, I don't know. But if you guys don't own it, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and buy one. And after you guys buy one, you guys should have it in your inventory. So pull up your inventory, scroll down, or pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to inventory. And you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to Ballistic Equipment Services. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to ask you to pay $5,000. So go ahead and pay $5,000. And a plane will drop it from the sky. And now you guys are just going to want to wait until it drops. So whenever the crate drops with the Ballistic Equipment, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and get like a civilian car or something. Or like your personal vehicle. It doesn't matter. And whenever the box drops, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start pushing the box towards the towards the mass store so I had to get a new car because as you guys can see that one got stuck and I kind of almost blew it up but yeah so you guys are just gonna want to go ahead and grab the box and as you guys can see I'm starting to push it forward towards the mass store and so whenever you guys get it towards the mass store you guys are just gonna want to make sure you put it in front of the hats so after you guys go ahead and put it in front of the hats you guys can back the car up get out of the car and so whenever you guys get right here next to the shirts, don't pick it up yet, but get next to the shirts. And so whenever you guys get next to the shirts, as you guys can see, it says, it says hit right on the D-pad. So whenever you guys start walking towards the, the ballistic equipment, you guys are going to want to start spamming right on the D-pad. So start spamming right on the D-pad right now. And so as you guys can see, you guys equip the Juggernaut outfit. Now you guys are just going to want to go ahead, hit pause. And start up this beach mission right here. So you guys see where it's called beach. Just start up the job by pressing X or square. Whichever console you're on. So go ahead and start job. It's going to ask are you sure you guys want to start the job. Just hit OK. Okay guys. So whenever you guys are in here. You guys are just going to want to confirm the settings. And whenever you guys can see. You guys can see I have the outfit on. So that's how you guys know you have the juggernaut outfit. So now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and leave this job. So whenever you guys spawn back in, it'll put on the Juggernaut outfit for a second, but then you guys will be putting on this outfit right here. So after you guys have this outfit on, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start up a Crooked Cop. So go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, scroll down to verses and start up a Crooked Cop. So whenever you guys are in a Crooked Cop, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and make sure your clothing is set to play your own, and then you guys can launch the mission. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are in here, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to your owned outfits and scroll one time to the left, and then you guys should have the Juggernaut outfit with the other accessories you guys chose, like your pants, your shoes, and your gloves, and now you guys can just hit ready to play. 
Yeah, so whenever you guys spawn in, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on your gear, scroll one time to the left, and you guys should be able to put on an LCD earpiece. And so ap now, after you guys go ahead and do that, now you guys can just leave from your phone. Guys, yeah, so whenever you guys spawn back in with your outfit or the juggernaut outfit, now you if you guys want to change your pants, your shoes, your gloves, you guys can go ahead and do that. The only thing you guys can't change is the is the shirt under the juggernaut outfit. You guys can't change that or else the juggernaut outfit will get taken off. So you guys can go ahead and also add your mask and helmet. And after you guys do that, you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. And so that's basically the top 10 clothing glitches that still work after patch 1.52. There's a lot. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more that I can show you guys through. This video just took way longer than I thought, so I think I'll probably just, I'll think I'll just stick to top fives from now on. But yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy these glitches. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.